how are you? So you all voted and today's video is on rat teeth. First of all, I want to thank you so much for participating in my poll. That was really helpful. I have other videos that I've filmed parts of or all of and couldn't decide what order to put them in, honestly. So they're going up in that order. Stay tuned. So the first thing that I want to talk to you about with a rat's teeth is that most rats don't actually need you to do anything with their teeth. This is really wonderful. They don't need you to trim them. They don't need you to even necessarily give them things to wear them down with. This is because rats wear their teeth down through a process called bruxing. And you probably have seen your rats do this and just don't know it. They usually brux and will boggle at the same time, but some rats just brux on their own. Usually with boggling, the eyeballs pop in and out, and they believe the two are linked because of the jaw muscles that are needed to brux the front teeth properly. So rat front teeth should line up like this. I'm gonna show you some pictures here of some healthy rat teeth. Some of these pictures will also be of caramel and grits. The first thing to know is that rat teeth are extremely long. We only see a tiny little bit of them behind their lips. That's normal. It's not a problem if your rat's teeth are very long. What is a problem is if they don't line up properly. If that's not happening, then your rat can't grind them down on their own and you're going to need a vet to help them. Otherwise, they can look like these rat teeth. It's not because of not having the right chew toys or not having enough chew toys or not having chew toys at all. That has nothing to do with malocclusion, it is genetic. So with that said, obviously you'll want to talk to your breeder and find out if that's something that runs in their lines. There are certain rat types that are very prone to teeth issues, one of them being tabby or marble like Sprinkles is, which is why I started checking teeth more regularly. I also had a rat previously that you've seen in my very old videos named George, sweet George, that had teeth issues. One of his bottom teeth, instead of growing straight like this, would actually curl and grow to the side, which my finger doesn't bend like. But as a result of that, if he did not get his teeth trimmed every two weeks, he could not eat properly which is a very serious problem with malocclusion. The rat's teeth not lining up properly can actually cause them to grow into their jaws or into the roof of their mouth or out of their lip, cause puncture wounds, infection, and they can die from it. So it's important if that's a problem that your rat might potentially have that you check it frequently. With Mr. Sprinkles, he has very soft teeth. His teeth thankfully do not get crooked or anything like that, but they are very brittle and soft and they break easily. And as a result of that, I check his teeth very frequently, at least weekly or so, just depends. His teeth will actually like break and peel, kind of like an onion, so there'll be a layer in the back, but the front layer's gone. And then this back layer keeps growing and curls because this part's coming in contact with only part of it. and. It's just a problem. So he's had to have his trimmed a couple of times. He also seems to think that it's quite fun to just nosedive off of stuff, which is why I have so many fall breakers in my cage because I want him to have things to catch on to so he doesn't hit his face and break a tooth. Oh, I will say, if your rat has issues keeping on weight for any reason, especially if it's sudden, check their teeth because they do randomly just injure themselves and break a tooth and it could be a tooth related issue that needs treated and it needs treated at a vet to get it fixed. So just keep that in mind. So in this video clip you're going to see me check Sprinkles teeth and hopefully it will be helpful. It's not very long and it gives you some things to watch for. First you're going to hold the rat in your lap. I have Sprinkles on his back in between my legs and I'm pulling his lip down to check the bottom teeth. He's wiggly, that's okay. They don't enjoy this at all, but it's not hurting him. If he gets too wiggly, I pet him for a minute, let him calm down, then start over. 
Next, I'm going to check his top teeth. This is a little trickier, but pull the lips back and just look at the shape. Make sure they're not curved and then give a treat. Also, I just wanted to mention that I have a ton of links and things in the description. If you want to read more about rat teeth, it would have been too hard to include all of the information in this video and keep it kind of simple. So I thought I'd just throw them in there for you all to read in your own free time. Thanks for watching. Bye.